Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Semi campaign. This is episode 21. We pick it up from turn 116 in the summer season of 314. So, last episode we spent a whole episode in peace and it's highly likely we will do that this episode as well. Uh, the attitude that the Jin Empire have against us is trending towards positive, so it's highly unlikely they will start a war with us. Our only hope right now is either Sima Liang or Sima Yan over here would ask their master Sima Yue to declare war on us again, which would likely drag the Jin Empire in. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're just going to enjoy some peaceful development, which is fine because uh, we are waiting for a reform. If we look here, we're one turn away from getting topography, which will unlock the uh, Azor Dragon unit for us. And then we will also go pursue the field surgery, which will unlock the Onyx Dragon for us. Uh, combined, you'll just give us a really nice army that have access to fire arrows, uh, which will just mean we can burn some more people. Um, let's take a look at the level up situation. For this turn, we have Angry Simayao. Well, he used to be a faction leader until he got wiped. Um, he's unhappy because of a lot of things. Um, yeah, he's quite low level. We'll keep him. He's family. That's a promotion. All right, Huang Ningjing. Um, I think she's married to the family. No, she's not. But she, oh, we want, she is Huang Xing's daughter. We wanted her to marry to the family, but apparently she's a distant relative because of Huang Xing was a relative. Um, we'll just work our way to our resourcefulness then. She's a 20 year old, so she's young. We'll keep her around for a bit. Um, let's take a look at our spy. Just double check everything. Um, she has a lot of points. She is a general. Um, we could eventually ask her to go for oh we can't because we are <laughs> we are hitting our max military vault points um but she can definitely go pursue administrator position just work her way up the ladder let's try our best here maybe she'll get it probably require someone dying to free up a position uh we have a ton of new characters let's see who we start off with here okay shoujin let's see let's start with shoujin which is right here. He has the silver armor. That's already recruitable. Yeah, we probably should just recruit him for the armor. Let's keep that in mind. Let's see. Wait, sure. Ooh, silver weapon and silver armor. Uh, let's see. Sima Yun is losing generals left and right for some reason. He's actually... He's actually quite nice. Like, all the skills are very positive. He's only 38. He's willing to spy for us. All right, so that's two reasons to recruit him. Oh, she's terrible. All right, ignore. A gold horse, guys. Shadowrunner. No, black elite. I look like Shadowrunner. Okay, okay. Uh, this is interesting. We're getting a lot of good items for free, basically. A thousand gold each is nothing right now into our economy. Uh, just quickly look at these traits, see if anyone's really good. He's alright, but he could be a spy, so I'm not going to do that. She's 24. Maybe wife? Alright. Uh, let's see. She is a mediator. Sima Jiong. She could be a spy, though. That would be sad, wouldn't it? We could risk it. No, be, no point to be so afraid. Alright, so first we'll hire her because she could be a wife. Alright, this is a item grab. Uh, we actually like him. We don't need that item. We need... Where's the horse? Where's the horse? There's our horse. That's the one we really, really want. Alright. So let's unequip these fellows. Alright, so she, we will try to get a marriage. We will take your armor. Thank you very much. He doesn't like us. Uh, he just, he just feels like he needs the raids. Well, he's... 
Yeah, I don't I don't think we need to keep him. He's level five, his level's quite high. Let's get rid of him. He's unhappy, also wants a raise. Okay, that's quite low. He has good skills. But we have a lot of champions. And his skill his skills are not in the right place in my opinion. If we want him to be battle focused. So we're just gonna be taking your stuff. That sword should go to one of our vanguards on the front. A lot of them need good weapons. Let's give it to Simapul here. Oh, it's not. There we go. Uh, we don't have a better armor for you? There we go. Uh, lose some expertise, but... I mean, you're already losing expertise here. Might as well just max out and also get terror. And you look nice. Alright. Uh, where's our administrators? They don't have a horse? Mm. He doesn't have a horse. There we go. Warblade. Alright, that's fine. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, uh, let's take a look at the rest of these fellas. We unequipped him, we unequipped him. We can get rid of both of them. We're gonna get rid of her as well. We just really want her item. This is amazing. Let's give it to Samayi. Where are you, Samayi? This is your lucky day. Not happy. Smile. Alright, and Lu Zhu can get Samayi's old horse. All right, that's fine. All right, time to fire these people. Thank you for dropping items, and you guys can go now. She's family. Xiang Xiang. Oh, this is Xiang Xiang Li. Okay. She used to have her own faction as well. That explains the gold horse. Um, let's see. She used to be a faction leader. That's why. All right, these guys can go. We have more than enough characters. And then as for you, we're going to give you a marriage proposal. And I think you'll accept. Yep. There's no unhappiness check mark here. There we go. All right. That took care of all the personnel. Let's take a look at the commanderies. All right. Changsha can finally build up this. Fooling can give us more food. Ling Ling is maxed out. 385 peasantry. I don't think it's worth upgrading it anymore. Probably not interested in getting that last 100% peasantry. It'll just be another 300 income. But it'll cost us a lot of food. We'll also get some back from commerce, but this is also not featuring commerce. So yeah, we're not going to upgrade Ling Ling anymore. Lu Ling. Lu Ling could upgrade just so that we can get level 5 buildings here. Yeah, let's do that. We can also get some contribution from uh, corruption. Build some uh, state workshop or something. Actually, I don't know. We're not exactly high on food. Holding back on that. Nanhai. Nanhai, let's upgrade this first. We can rush it. Uh, get a new building slot. Mm, right now we're running a lot of commerce income. Okay. And we want this one for maximum commerce income and peasantry. So I think we just build a government support. Get a little bit more peasantry and food income here. Let's free upgrades. Just cost money to rush. Reformation, yeah, it's fine here. This will just wait for the reforms. It actually boosted our food because of this. Let's see here. Yuling. Uh, let's upgrade this first. We also make these cheaper. School buildings, we're going for reformation positive. We're already very reformation positive. 
spice trade. All right, so this is basically not going to be built up anymore. Maybe a labor building and a marketplace. Marketplace first. We have more than enough um, noble. Let's. Uh, noble support to handle the marketplace. Yunnan is one away from another building slot, but there's really nothing to build. This is pretty much, unless we want to build a school here. Yeah, but we don't need to. We can save some food here. This is not going to contribute to our economy. Yu Zhang. Hmm. We could upgrade to get level 5 buildings. And uh, that's not going to really help our food situation. Alright, this is a simple upgrade. Alright, that takes care of everything. Another thing though is that when we do unlock that reform next turn, where are we going to be doing the recruiting? I think only... I only have one... Um, conscription buildings right here. It's in Jiangyang. It's really far away. It's out here in the west. It's this commander. Basically, if I recruit an army here, everyone gets higher level. Oh, actually, that works out because this is the army we really want to do it in. So we go here. Okay, we can recruit this next turn. Sima so is our main target. Because if you look at Smai, he has high resolve, he, not so good cunning, but we have all our passive. He, mainly he gets composure, right? This is fire arrow on the Zor dragons. That's mainly what we want here. We can give up on... Ooh, armor. Still a lot of good ones, but we only can get two more. Inspiring Surge is definitely out. Running speed is probably out. Because we're not even commanding our own army because we would never have a um, reach. We don't really need more noble support. So probably just these two for battle stats. I'm debating between trust and unyielding earth. Because this is actually quite a good ability. Unbreakable as well. Melee evasion. Yeah, this is actually really good. So maybe these two. Alright. Um, so that's ready. What about our other guys? Uh, everyone's just holding position. I feel like maybe we can just upgrade these guys, um, men, just as level 3 and let them just slowly build up their level. And not worry about getting them starting rank high. If that's the case, um, these heavy infantries, I don't think they're that good. We're going to save ourselves a little bit more money and just get rid of them this turn. There we go. Um, I think I'm also going to upgrade his cavalry to the cataphracts. Alright, that army is ready for new recruitment. Alright, beautiful cataphracts, beautiful range units. This army is pretty elite already. Sima Jian, where are you? You're still sailing. Okay, are you going to get back in time? There we go. Back on land. We probably should have got rid of your army while you were sailing. Um, guess better cavalry units for your army and then better spear units as well. We're going to be spending a lot of gold, I think, if this is like upgrading everyone. I'm going to save two of these for front line, for range block, and also to save a bit of gold. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're going to cheap out with some of you guys. These are level, mm, their level is quite high. But are they really that good? I mean, they have high armor. All right, let's get rid of some infantry it's in then. Let's do a hybrid army, two, 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 just to vary things up a bit. 
Um, cavalry wides. I don't know. Let's take out two first. Let's just see how our economy can take it. Alright, everyone's ready for new army. I mean, he can get rid of these now. Save us money this turn. We can also get rid of these horses because my eyes army should be elite. Alright. Let's end turn, I think. I think we're good. Let's get ready for new Azor dragons. Oh, so our brother Sima Wei want us to declare war on Sima Yo, which is right here. Um, if we say yes, he'll be happy with us, obviously. Um, seems like Sima Yo is related to Sima Yong's faction. And Sima Jiong will also be unhappy. Not sure if I want to start this war all the way here. We can't really contribute. It'll just be him fighting. And then we'll piss off some people. Which is fine. I guess we'll piss off whoever we want. We want people to start war with us. Let's accept. Oh gosh. Hmm. He's really putting us in a tough situation. Alright, let's just say no. What can Samawe do? Alright, enemy spy has stolen the item. And left our faction. Ah, uh, there was a spy in our faction? Okay, Sima Yong has asked their master to go to war with Teng Bao Yu Hui. Okay, so yeah, he was vassaled by Sima Yong. Sure. We got topography. We got an armor. Loyal friend. All right, we got a new general. Well, I guess it's a good thing we uh, equipped all our gold items last turn. So I think we didn't lose anything. All right, she is angry. She is angry. Oh my god. She's going to be General of the Flying Cavalry. Jesus. Sima Ying, your wife. Come on. Alright, new reform. Onyx Dragon time. Four turns. And then we're going to see how much of an economic hit it is. Ooh, the new general we got is a princess. Her name is Princess Pei. Feng Shu. Okay, this is... I don't know. This is weird. But she's 50 years old. Alright, princess. Alright, we'll keep her. We know she can't be a spy. Alright, who stole our stuff? Oh, it's really hard to tell. Uh, it's really hard to tell who stole our stuff. I don't even know if I can remember what stuff we had, because we probably had so many, so like so many stuff. At least all the gold ones were equipped. Uh, we gave out Zhang Fang's armor last turn. That was a good move. Uh, oh, we got a new armor, Lord's Will. Unbreakable, authority armor. Where is our son? Sima Shuo. It's perfect for him. Lord's will. Ooh, nice. Looking good, looking good. Don't have a good horse for you yet. Um, we got another item here, huh? Book of Mountain and Sea, campaign movement range. Put it on a strategist, perfect item. Let's see, let's see. Uh, maybe our wife here? Oh, actually, she has a bow. She has a bow. This bow is kind of bad, so we're gonna switch you to this. And we're going to give that bow to her. Alright, that's good. Let's take care of our economy, which actually needs to be, you know, booming. Because um, we're having difficulty. We've got to support a whole new army of... Um, Azor Dragons, and that's going to get pricey. Alright, we're waiting on the upgrade for the reform. Over here, we said we're going to build a marketplace. Let's just build it straight up. No need to be shy here. There we go. 
We don't have silk yet, so we're just gonna go for commerce income. Pull Uh, we don't need to upgrade it anymore because we're not running peasantry here. Shangyu, this is also waiting for the upgrade, for the right reform. Really, upgrade the tea house. Boost it. And then we'll build the school slowly. There we go. Alright. Yunnan is fine. Yu Zhang needs a couple. Mm, maybe not. We'll hold off on that. Alright. Time to start recruiting new armies and spending our cash. Let's see here. Let's hear. Azor Dragon, 225 per turn. That's not that bad. I, I thought it would be more expensive. So we're going to just load up on these. We're going to load up on Cataphracts. 222. Okay, that's not bad either. We can definitely afford these. Over here. Now these don't have the conscription buildings. It's going to be level 3, but that's still pretty good. Alright. Over here, we don't have um, level 3 yet, so we can't pick up Archer of Jin. But that's probably fine, because we're going to go for um, Onyx Dragon soon, once that reform comes in. So this is second army. This army is fine. Right here. Everyone's getting an upgrade this turn. Alright, I was worried about economy for some reason, but honestly, I don't know why I was worried. Because if you look at our economy right now, it's barely moving. Alright, this army can actually get an upgrade too. They're really close to Jiangyang. I'll upgrade them after this fight. That way they can get to Jiangyang and get level 6 units right away. Uh, this army here, we're going to do them a favor since we definitely can't afford it. Give them the full upgrade treatment here. There we go. Now, let's take a look. These guys are 72. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. didn't want to cancel them. I wanted to compare them. Uh, let's, um, let's go back to Smai. There we go. These are 77 morale, higher morale. Uh, they only have 16 ammo though. That kind of blows. I thought it would be more. Maybe their base number is just so low that even with percentage boost it won't be that high. But it's fine. They, you know, they they that's extra. Whatever this is is extra because we had units that didn't fire arrows before. 44 base damage, 30 armor piercing. Range is pretty standard. Attack rate's not that high, but it's all right. Um, yeah, pretty happy with them. We just got let them all recruit uh, a little bit, two turns. All right, and it's not like we have any war targets. We can't actually fight anyone. And we finish all the buildings. Economy's still booming. Not sure why we worried. Um, oh, I know what I should have done. This position should have gone to Samayin's wife. And then we wouldn't have to worry about leveling her up so much. But a little too late for that. We'll save it for maybe Smaway or someone. Smaway is a grand tutor. That's funny. Um, we can't start any wars. We didn't use the opportunity here to start a war because the target is just not close to us. If he was fighting people here, I would have said yes. But over here is just not convenient for us. Um, the Jin Empire has armies spreading out. They're not home. Which is making it a little bit awkward. Because we're positioned to attack their territory. But they're positioned to attack places that's undefended for us. Um, we'll be a bit patient. It's okay to just uh, manage for a bit. We're still waiting on the um, Onyx Dragons. Okay, that's good. Let's just end turn here. Alright, Sima Lun has joined Sima Yun in the war. Sure. And more people has joined their war. We got more armor. Silver. So another strategy we can do is just have our... Um, 
use diplomacy to start buying territories. We have so many armor. All right, not interested. Really scared of spies now. Getting stuff stolen from us. We don't need more people. We have our family. So far, no grandchildren, which is kind of sad. You know, when your dad was 24, all you guys were born. So get to it. All right, Sima Jian leveled up. Um, he should go for either Hamstring or Blinding Fury. Fatigue resistance, 25% capture officer. That's nice. Can't be a spy if we captured you. Level up, resourcefulness, wonderful. And Sima Yu, let's see. Yeah, probably battlefield material. Let's get you composure. Night battle is always useful. And I think everyone's just replenishing. Everyone's in the right position already. Let's just manage our buildings. And we can fly through these turns and um, we don't need any more reformation points. Right, plus 22 even without this assignment right now. We have built our commanderies to resist that, so we're going to boost our income with that instead now. Let's build our school. Yeah, everything's taken care of. Oh, Tolan needs upgrade. There we go. Let's take a look. Water by money. Top money maker, Tang Wu, 8,400 gold. That's with a boost in peasantry and boost to commerce. All right, that's pretty decent boost. Let's see, Ijo over here is our number two, 7,300. Excellent peasantry and excellent commerce, actually. Double boost on that, okay. So that's already done. Nanhai is third. Oh, that's excellent, excellent commerce. Look at that, 695, that's extremely high. Uh, let's get him to come and do the regulate market, lose some reformation for a hundred percent. And once she's done, we can put another uh, strategist to do a uh, boost here. So then we change basically all our assignments to money boosting rather than reformation boosting. And we're still going to be at positive 22 per turn, which is, well, it's actually going to drop to 18, but it'll be fine. Um... Yeah, we took care of that, we took care of buildings, and that was another quick turn, let's go. Okay, so our vassal got attacked by Sima Yong, so that is war. We are going to keep our vassal, Sima Wei will be happy to join war. Sima Yong and us are back at war, which is totally fine, let's do it. Alright, so Ray wants to sign a non-aggression pact, let's first negotiate a little bit. Let's see, she is currently here. She is part of Sima Jung's. Okay, we'll say yes, because if she, you know, if she joins a war part of their alliance, she'll break it. And right now she's willing to pay us for it, which is totally fine. Totally cool with that. Does she have anything to give us? Wow, we are loaded. We should definitely use them for diplomacy gains here. Um We'll just take money, I guess. Ooh, it's not a lot. I'll just take what you uh, you offered. It's fine. It's about the same. We caught a spy. Oh, Bianzuo, you're a spy for Xiu Rei Rei. Oh, come on. I mean, are you not happy at our faction? I guess not super happy. He was quiet. Should have knew. Oh, he had he had good spying traits. Okay, I guess that made sense. We can't release this counter spy. That would have been awesome. We'll just spare you. You're level one. No harm really done. And Silver Ray can, you know, like us more. Is that why she signed a non aggression pack? Because she knew her spy was getting captured, so she didn't want us to attack her right away? That would have been interesting. Let's release. Alright. So Simayong broke the peace. We didn't have to do it. And we just retaliated. And we ended up at war with Sima Lun, Sima Yo, 
and Song Yingmin. Okay. And Sima Wei joined our effort. Enemy spy has empowered trade against us. We have more spies in our faction. Okay. Ooh, gold weapon, ancestral pledge. Okay, this is a instinct and X. This is an excellent weapon. This is probably a better weapon than the one we have, and we have so much resolve points already. And we're gonna get okay. We're gonna get four more resolve here, so our resolve is gonna go over two hundred. But if we reduce this, we can get more instinct and expertise. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to switch our weapon. We're going to give this weapon to someone else. Someone who can actually use its set bonus. Because I think you need to have... What's, what's what the set bonus is? Leather of the Fire Phoenix. I think we have one of those. Oh, uh, we might not. This is our gold one. It's called Dragon Scale. Okay. Um, doesn't matter. Sima Jian, Sima Jian, not a spy, right? Yep, he came to us from the beginning. We will give him this weapon. Killed it, turtle. We don't have that one, but nice weapon for him regardless. We have freed up another weapon. We can upgrade basically everyone down the line. All right, so all these guys have least silver weapon. Bot Punt, he can have finally a decent weapon. Oh, this one, no, actually this one's pretty good. Alrighty, he is really poorly equipped for a general. I'll give him some more. Actually, he's already over 100. I kind of want to give him this one. Some instinct would be nice. And we have armors. There we go. We definitely have armors. Alright. Level up, Sandi. Sandi. Let's see, let's see. Final rush, not really interested. Whose army are you in? Where are you? Alright, you're not leading the army, so there's no need to get you reach. But we kinda want flames of the phoenix, right? This is ten, nine, eight, seven, six. That would work. Yeah, that would work. We just wiggle our way back over here. Cool, cool, cool. All right, everything's good. Got a gold weapon, very happy about that. All right, so we are at war, just with the wrong people. Let's take a look. Ooh, this is our chance to grab this small city. There's something for you guys to do. Start sailing. We're still recovering a bit. That's fine. All right. We should have probably just stayed in our territory, but it's fine. We're just going to go sail over here, get attack on Kai Kaijiu. It will take us surprisingly five turns. And if we go on march, how, how long would that take for us to reach here? Four turns. Perfect. All right. So they have something to do. Um, there's the enemy here. Not a very big army. Mao Ren? Hey, I know him. We fought his faction. He doesn't like us. Okay, so let's see. This army can move out against them. Uh, what's the road situation in the winter? It's hard to see. All right, it's wiggling here, here, here. Okay, so if we just auto select, it's Ooh, trespassing, trespassing. Sorry. But we're one turn away from reaching that. There's a there's a crossing here. Yeah, there's a the little ferry crossing. That works out. Um, you guys can take over the defensive duty here. Uh, we're gonna pull everyone to the north. There's a Smayo army right here. He's more territories here. All right, so time to start shifting everyone over. Where are you guys? I guess Zhangke can wait. We can try to buy Zhangke instead of fight for Zhangke. Um, let's go to March. Dash for the lumberyard. 
Yeah. See, so Empire, let's talk business. Let's talk business. Give us the tea house. Let's just see the price of everything. Yeah, these are very affordable. So one at a time. Let's start with what is this? Tea house. Yeah, let's do tea house. Here, equip your men with excellent armor. Uh, which one do we not want? I guess we don't really need these uh, authority ones. And I guess these are not really useful. Maybe this one? Is that enough? Oh, that's more than enough. Okay. Um, we'll use money for some of these because there's, there's one of them that I actually like. Now, which one is it? Yeah, I think we can cancel out the right one. Actually, give this away too. Actually, that's not that bad. Give this away. Oh, actually, these axes we're never going to use. So, remove this. Remove this. Alright, now we pay for the rest. Make a per turn payment. How much are we talking about? A couple hundred? A couple thousand? Maybe just one thousand? Alright. It's not a bad deal. So my way likes this. Wait, wait, wait. This is wrong. I think this is a glitch. This is from still the fighting one. Because there's no way that anyone will be pissed off at this deal. Alright, we got that. Uh, we can negotiate. We actually trade agreements. No, 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 no. We can go back to the Jin Empire. We can negotiate another deal with them. We will buy the other territory as well. Uh, there we go. Buy the trade port. This is why we have all this armor. Yeah, we'll get rid of that one. We have plus nine armors. There's no need to have that one used. Authority, authority. This should be positive. Point three. That's fine. We'll give it to you guys. Alright, we still really want this piece, but 50 something is just too much. We might just have to conquer it later. Um, maybe take a break. I think we used up most of our assets. City, city, lumberyard in Xingdu, fishing port in Lujiang. Hmm. Might be helpful because we are going to Lujiang. Livestock farm. How much? Alright. We'll, we'll get some more armor and weapons and then we'll trade for it. Um, Alright, let's take a look at our other armies. Samai's army. So now these are our territory now. Level 5 tea house. Right version? Flat income. No trade influence. I probably want the trade influence right now. Uh, pure port. Uh, rush it. Wait, we're not building anything here. There we go. Spice boosting. There we go. That's the right versions. Ready over here. This army. How can we get it onto the battlefield as quick as possible? Ooh. Sima Lun's at war with us. Sima Wei is actually surrounded by enemies. We could go help him out. Could send an army here to get that copper mine. It's better that we have the copper mine than he has a copper mine. There'll just be a long march there and a long march back. And then marching back, we have to go through Luoyang. I mean, I guess it beats marching this way. Could use the river, but... All right, time to go marching. We want to get to the copper mine. Where is the road here? Are there roads here? Ah, I see roads. Five turns. All right, everyone's at least mobilizing. We're finally at war. 
Um, nothing to build here. Nothing to build here. We have a new assignment which we should use before we end turn. Gotta do the commerce assignment. Already thought that in that last turn. And... Ooh. Uh, we should upgrade this a bit. Mm, plant more food. Yes. This one should be upgraded quite a bit, actually. Highest income going to Nanhai with a ridiculous high amount of commerce income. I'm gonna give them more commerce income boost. There we go. Yeah, we're still running at 18, plus 18, and our economy is 60k a turn. Uh, we can't really spend any more money, to be honest. We're max army count. Most of our armies are very elite. So, things are going pretty well. I um, think we can send out a spy, maybe even. That's a way to spend some money. Let's see. Maybe her? Potential for marriage? Or her? Let's take a look. I gotta figure out which one's better before we just send them blindly out. All right. She's 40 years old. If we're sending her out, we're keeping the armor. She's not doing much in our faction. She's 42, also not doing much. So we can send both of them out. Let's let's do it. All right. You're going out to. Sima Yong. And you're going out to Sima Lun. There we go. Alright. Uh, we probably can try to diplomatically get this one, but 55 is really high. Just have to pay a lot of money for it, I guess. We don't have to fight the Jin Empire, it seems. It seems we can just buy them off. Alright, let's continue. Uh, go to next turn. All right, our spies have been dispatched. We have a mission. Um, let's see. Well, we definitely want him to be happy with us. We don't really need to. I mean, spies are an issue, but I feel like it's better to have good relationship with our generals. And spirit two twenty five is the goal. Okay, we gotta get to that two twenty five. Killed through kindness. That's an interesting name. <laughs> but if we get the next tier, oh, they they change. It used to be diplomatic relationship and morale. It's going to be, and then there's a corruption bonus. But then we get food production. Well, that's amazing, actually. Definitely spirit. Let's do it. All right, well, we're gonna take a while to get there. That's at least what 50, 60, 66 turns just from the passive boost of one per turn from reformation so we need more missions basically got a brown horse um Smai has a better horse but these guys are riding plain old horses here we really wish we get more horses for general someone dressed up really fancy so perhaps an item grab there uh good traits good traits all right Let's take a look. Could be a spy. Could be a spy, but we're going to take her our stuff. Ooh, 18 year old. Could be a spy, though. What faction did you come from? No past loyalties. Perfect. And handsome and dutiful. All right, wife. Right there, right there. All right, where did you come from? Doesn't matter. Oh, this is our vassal. All right, she can't spy on us. But we don't need her. We just want her stuff. All right. The wife material. Oh, let's make the wife happen right away. I think our son needs a wife too. So our son first. Uh, right here. Oh. How can she be family? That's just sad. <laughs> Uh, she's family member. All right, maybe we marry her to one of our generals the other way around. You know, these guys are old though. Uh, that plant didn't work. 
Alright, if one of our generals really stand out, we'll we'll do a reverse marriage. Someone could use that cloak. I'm pretty sure most of my what strategists are not that well dressed. There we go. And then we can just fire her before she spies on us, potentially. There we go. Goodbye. Alright. To war. To war. Let's march to war. Alright, there's a development here. So Samawe, you know, war started. He's being beaten back a bit in the beginning. Undefended territory getting taken. But he is sending out his armies to the copper mine. Personally. So we're not going to get there. He's going to have it. We just have to pick it up through um, annexation in the future. We're going to be sailing down river then. We're going to hit the battlefield over here. Using the river as fast transport. Right? It'll only be three turns this way. Um, do we really need to go into a defensive? I guess, yeah. Someone needs to stay on this side of the river to defend us. Alright, let's go to war here. But let's... Let's see, he's this army right here. We'll get everyone to move to their position first, and then we'll go to war. So if Sima Ai is going there, we don't need to go there. Actually, we can still go there. We hit there about the same time. Right, two turns to get here and then cross river. Probably take another turn. Um, they're about to attack. We gotta wait on them. They're sailing to attack as well. Um, yeah, this is the right route. Let's land. I think we can maybe land. I think the road goes like this. Maybe land here. Yeah, he will land in a turn. This army is also moving to a defensive position. Yeah, they should. We gotta find where Zhang Feng is. I wanna burn him again. Well, we didn't get to burn him the first time. We just took his armor. Alright, gonna quickly do the buildings and then do a fight and end this episode. Most of these buildings are done, so there's really nothing to do here. Just some minor stuff. Um. Hmm. Salt mine not upgraded. Food not upgraded. What are we doing here? Ooh, max food production. Maybe not. Maybe we should just still have some income here. Mm, actually, maybe not. Let's produce food here. There we go. 40 food total now. And Chengdu is fully built. Yep, it's definitely fully built. Mm, do we need another building slot here? We could. Private workshop would be perfect here. Let's upgrade. Up. Great. Oh, also want to upgrade here. Each upgrade. Six food. We can get some of that back when we get this done. Yeah, let's upgrade. Yeah. That's a lot of food all of a sudden. We need to get some more food from somewhere. Alright, let's take the fight here. Lumberyard's not going to give us food, but it's not going to cost us food either. They have Xianbei Rider. Okay. Tribuchet. Not an easy fight. Not an easy fight. Let's see here. AI actually think we're going to lose. Mm. They're in a defensive lumber yard, which is actually quite difficult because there's three entrances to the north, three entrances to the south, and then there's two on the side, and there's one side that doesn't have any entrance. We got pretty much murdered at, at one of these in the past. 
All right, we're going to try to starve them out. They'll come out and fight us during the end turn because they have no supplies. Sire! All right, let's hope that works out. And I think we can end turn. We did all the buildings. We did all the movements. Yep, let's end turn. Let's see if they come out and fight us. And they did. Okay. This should be an easier fight now in the field. Um, they don't have that defensive position. Our ammo can go towards hitting them. And the tribute series is going to take a while to walk up. We can line up in the back in the opening. So let's start battle. Alrighty. Um, nice map. Kind of hilly. We're downhill though, which kind of sucks. Mm, but they're going to be marching out of most likely this forest region, I'm guessing. They could also not march because they might not even see us. That's often the case. We don't have flaming shot on these. Everyone has... Oh, everyone has a uh, grill deployment. Oh, we can get cheesy here again, can't we? <laughs> They're going to be here. We can try to cheese them again. They failed us last time. This is a nice hill. Oh, do we really want to risk it here? We can fight here. Right, facing towards them. We can rush them with our cataphracts. But this, both group are two retinue groups. <laughs> this is an interesting idea. Right, let's try it. Try something new. Also, don't have to wait as long. But if we rush them, these guys are kind of useless here. We have to, like, line up here. Right, but then these guys will come and destroy us after that. So maybe something like this. Probably don't want to spread them out that much. I don't know. Like, I'm guessing they're lining up here. Their main army. It just means, you know, our generals are going to be lined up here with our cavalry and we're just going to rush them. And these guys will just be support on the side. All right. They're guarding the front here. Wow, that's thin. Yeah, two units kind of thin here. But it's fine. We have these guys on the side. And then these guys can shoot arrows in the beginning and also just, yeah, just pure arrows is fine. And they can charge out after the enemy comes. Still have got to get used to how to adapt with those units. And then she can stand here. And we're just going to let this group fire well as they charge in. Let's try it. Charge! Where are the enemy? They're probably somewhere in this forest. No, they're over here. Okay. That's uh, unfortunate. Let's uh, tilt ourselves just this way a little bit. We have to charge at their tribuches basically now. At least we'll be in the forest. They can't see us until it's too late. Oh gosh. Are we at least firing at them? We're not in range. That sucks. Mm. Alright, we're gonna charge. Time to put our cataphracts to use. take a lot of damage but that's what they're here for well we're already rushed in can we get a duel yes we can all right kill the strategists all right look at our cavalry charge into these lines Ooh, even the pearl dragons got moved 
Nice. All right, so all these guys need to pull out of formation. Splash damage. All right, they're getting killed. There we go, there we go. Alright, they're killing our general though. Nasty as steel. This sucks. Alright, our goal is to finish up the charge here and then move out. We don't want to stick fighting to these guys. Keep charging. Find your next target. We're losing hard with good weapons. Alright, run away. Well, died. Ooh. That sucks. Alright, at least their general is running away as well. That's unexpected. He has such good weapons and items. Can we start firing? Yes, they are. Okay, good. They can face off against this army just fine. Don't need to worry about them. Um, this guy needs to get moving. Our goal is to just get everyone out of here. Where they can't chase us. Right, these two. Perfect. Just keep chasing away. Chasing away from their main force. Go kill her. Alright, we'll buy time over here. This group right here should be no match for us. We'll charge them into their men. There's no cavalry to protect flanks for. And everyone can just fire. Actually. We do have formations to use. There we go. Let's micro our cavalry a little bit more. Yep, this group got stuck and getting killed. Keep moving out. Can't find her? Alright, kill this group. Get moving. Get moving. This group died. Bad micro. Alright. There we go. Let's see our formations hold against the charge. Nice. Alright. This is where we stand out. We're heavy Z infantry. This is Z militia. There's no way they can fight us off. Break formation. Charge. No one's coming at us. Flank. Um, charge out, I guess. See them in combat. Alright, kill these. Chase these down. One group got out. The other didn't get out. Go kill that general. Go revenge your friend. Mm, yeah, we'll chase because there's really no point to help. That group can take care of itself, even with this reinforcement. Come this way. Where is the other Zor Dragon? Oh, they're already in combat. Okay. Let's go offensive here. Ooh. Wow, they're killing fast. Look at that. It's cutting through that formation. Alright, there we go. Not even fully engaged. There we go. No problem fighting these guys off. Kill her. Kill him. Where is our general? They're going so slow. Fatigue is still a big issue. Alright, they all lost. Okay. 
So, uh, we don't need to chase. We can auto resolve the next fight too. So let's just claim victory here. All right, wasn't our cleanest fight, but it's all right. You know, seven to one casualty ratio is not that bad. Uh, and we can replenish on top of that. Alright, Sima Jiong signed a peace treaty with Sima Yue, sure. Our spy got recruited. Uh, a son comes of age. Picked up the reform for Onyx Dragons. Got an event for extra satisfaction. Everything's great. Um, if we look over here, we can definitely take this city. Oh, Sima Liang is still alive and beating. How old is he? 86. Holy crap. We don't want to fight him. He's not at war with us either. We just want to see him die of old age. He can die peacefully. Uh, we'll come back next episode. Uh, pick up this lumber yard. Uh, Samayo has two armies close by. Relatively close by. But I think he's at war with the Jin Empire. So they can hold us off for a little bit. Um, everywhere else we're mobilizing towards the north. We're finally going to make some inroads uh, with this war to push forward. Um... Which will be quite nicely. We also have an army sailing to clean up this area right here. Um, elsewhere, Sima Wei is busy fighting the northwest for us. Hopefully he comes out on top. Uh, if not, we will annex him. But I think he's fine. He looks like he's losing, but he has like one, two, three armies concentrated in one spot. Once he cleans that up and goes north, he'll be fine. And he has one, two, two more armies for defense. So he should be okay. Um, we're going to be okay too. And we're going to upgrade our army even more with Onyx Dragons next time. Um, so, But that's it for now for this episode. See you all next time. Bye.